Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bligi. If this is your first time on this channel, and if you're coming back to this channel, welcome back. Today we're doing a whole lot of review. We'll be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. I want to see the hype. I'm excited. This is probably the first powder foundation that I do have right that's crazy anyways guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to go ahead and press the subscribe button below so that you're the first to know every week when I drop my new videos without further ado guys let's get on to the review okay so Fenty Beauty powdered foundation if you guys could see it clearly here I got it in shade 390 which is my shade in their liquid foundation and they've said that it's supposed to look the same so what we're about to find out about that right we about to find out anyways so this foundation is supposed to be long wear light as air no flashbacks which is good it has a blurred finish it's sweat, humidity, and crease resistant, which I love. It's buildable, light to full coverage formula that loves to be layered. Okay. Okay, Ari. Loves to be layered. And it won't settle into fine line or clog up your pores or cake up. Which I love. And it reduces the appearance of shine. And of course, it's chic, it's portable powder compact that fits in hand. We're about to find out too about that. So, and very important, it is vegan and it is cruelty free, which is very important, right? So, let's open up this package. Oh, first, I could say, listen, you could always leave it to Fenty Beauty to give you a good, nice, package that looks very sleek and compact you just open it up like this and look at that it has a little mirror up here you know it has a mirror and then if you flip it see and you have your sponge right here love it love it love it love it and today guys it will be a whole fancy face so <laughs> get ready sis get ready anyways love it so let's start okay so we're gonna start this look with the fenty beauty pro filter concealer i'm using the shade 380 the thing is you're not to put any thing liquid along with the lines of the powder foundation so you want to make sure that doesn't happen right it looks very natural which is what I really like I'm not really going for the brighten up the eye with this concealer to really like natural on the go quick easy which I love all right now let's start let's get it let's get the foundation we're gonna get the foundation it comes with a little sponge so let's let's see it looks a little Looks like it can be, but we about to find out right now. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not 
not at all. It looks a bit orangey, but am, is it me or? I'm not mad. I'm not mad about it at all, actually. You know, I'm not mad at all. I feel like this could work. And it looks like it is buildable, but it's going to take quite a while before we get it to that. Let's see. Let's just give it a chance. Let's see. Let's let's give it a chance. So I'm gonna contour using Fancy Beauty Espresso Matchstick. A lot of people tell me that they don't like this matchstick. I don't know why. I love it. I feel like it works well for me especially when I contour on the go it's quick it's easy and it's not it's not a lot of it's not a lot of work you know okay alright fancy honey Okay, well, I still feel like it's giving me this orangey tone undertone. I'm not sure on how I feel about that. I might have to go make a store run and, 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 and get, you know, get a different shade or something. Because this tone is killing me right now. I don't know how to feel about it. I really don't. So what I'm going to use now, I'm going to try on the Mocha Mommy, uh, the bronzer, Mocha Mommy. For the eyes, we're going to go ahead and use Ginger Bent Gen Masca Mew. I love this one. This is probably my favorite highlighter because I use it for my eyes and I use it for my eyes and my um you know my highlighting. You can use it for both. Yeah. So I've gone ahead and applied some lashes and a little bit of eyeliner on top of the eyes, of course. For the lips, I'll be using the Fenty Beauty cream lip gloss in shade or name Fenty Glow Fenty Glow oh. <laughs> Okay, 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 sis, you got something going on here. I'm feeling it. Now we're going to use the Hustler Baby. Highlighter to highlight. I like to put a little bit on the tip of the nose. Give yourself a little, a little shine, you know what I mean? Overall, how I'm going to rate this foundation, you know, only time will tell. <laughs> really and truly, because I feel like you got to really wear it for a long time. So we can see how it is. And is it doing what it says it's doing, you know? So guys, here's the final look of... 
using Fenty Beauty powdered foundation. I must say rating this foundation I would definitely definitely recommend getting this. I'm definitely going to be trying more powdered foundation in different brands because I love it. It's really good to go grab and go and I just honestly I love the way this foundation is looking on my face right now. I love it like look at the glow sis look at the glow look at the glow look at the glow like we love this we love this i really like this fenty beauty powder foundation this is very really nice guys this is very 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 nice i like this um again like this is a get you know i can't wait to be out here rocking this powder foundation powder foundation hey powder foundation i like this this is cute this is cute listen like you can't argue with fenty beauty like they they get it right all the time and for the color match for me it definitely is more or less the same as the liquid foundation if you're looking for your perfect shade so I definitely like this guys so. anyways guys leave me a comment like subscribe let me know what you want to see more of and I'll just catch you guys on my next video